Let's pray. Stop. Heavenly Father, you call us every week. Please help us to realize, to, to listen, crazy. and to respond. What? Amen. You read my sermon notes. <laughs> this is last week. Well, sort of. If you look back, anybody keep bullets inadvertently or on purpose? Go back at least until the first Sunday after New Year's. Every week has had a call lesson. They aren't as blatant as this, some of them. But this week and last week we had the calling of the, the dudes, right? This week we had follow me and they left their boats and they left their father and they followed him. Bet Zebedee loved that. Last week it was follow me and can anything good come from that little town? And I saw you under a fig tree. And before that, we had the call of John the Baptist. Well, actually, that was two weeks before, because before that, and after the call of John the Baptist, we had God at Jesus' baptism saying, Yep, that's the one. I called him. He's my beloved. And on and on and on. These calls. These ways of God reaching into people's lives and saying, follow me, are hitting us every week. Every, hello? Every week, at least in our texts. And this week especially always gets you. Because the text stops right at the bottom where it, it's a good place. Where, um, oh, where the boys... A seemingly abandon their father in the boat with the hired men and take off to go Galilee. Right? Jesus said, follow me. And they followed him. Where? Whenever I read this, I think over the river. Actually, they followed him to temple. All the further they went. When I read this and the way it's cut off, you think Jesus is calling them for the great adventure that is his ministry. And he's calling them and they leave and they're on the path to the cross. Nope. Jesus was saying, blow off work, follow me, we're going to temple. And they did. These boys, these fishermen, left and followed to listen to Jesus teach. They followed from their comfortable, normal lives, and they went to hear the word of God proclaimed. <coughs> Period. It's the next verse. But then things change. Because once you hear the word, you truly hear it. You want to keep following. You can't just stop at there. It's a lot like grocery shopping. You ever go and try and run into JG or Walmart for one thing? Uh-huh. How's that work for you? We'll run in. This is a simple thing that I do. I'm sorry. Run in for a gallon of milk. Evan's gone through all the milk again. And it's time for another gallon. So I run to the back of the store to get the gallon of milk. Now when I'm coming forward again, I see... Hmm? Oreos. No, I avoid the Oreo line. That would be dangerous. <laughs> but you're, you're right. I see all the other things. And some of it's on sale. <laughs> the chicken's on sale. The pizzas are on sale. And they're huge. The soda's on sale. All the good things that you have to try and pass. I just wanted milk. I was taking four minutes to run in, get what I needed, relax a little bit, and go. But these new things are too good to pass up. So I pick up a case of chicken, or a pack of chicken. And next to it is a recipe for chicken dinner. <laughs> you know how this ends. By the time I leave, I've got four or five bags. I'm going home. Hopefully I remember to put the milk in the cart. <laughs> but one thing, 
one little bit of nourishment leads to another and another and another till this five course banquet <coughs> suddenly appears out of one little step after another after another. That's the word. That's what it is to answer God's call. God calls us in a bunch of different ways, at a bunch of different times, and he does it repeatedly. And he calls us to take that one little step, which leads to so much more. We're called through the waters of baptism. We're called through studying and hearing the word. We're called through the reflection we receive in prayer and praise. We're called through song. We're called through just living our lives. And we answer God with those next little steps that we take. We answer God by trying to nourish those around us with his word. We answer God by following, by listening, and by following again. Where's God calling you? I don't know. You might not know. Hopefully we find out. But I guarantee, wherever it is, however that call starts, it will end with something much, much more. Listen, God is calling. 